The Legio Tertia Decima was recruited by Julius Caesar during the Republic and stood by his side in the front line during the crossing of the Rubicon. It survived Caesar and became prominent over the following centuries for its soldiers' courage and pride and was often sent far away to defend the borders of Rome in distant, hostile territories. In the first century AD, during a campaign in Pannonia, a violent insurrection broke out among the legionaries. Some soldiers, tired of the blood and blinded by the thirst of glory and the promise of a return home, plotted and turned against their very own Aquilifa. Strenuously defended by the few who remained faithful to him. The eagle was the most valuable symbol a legion possessed, and losing it was a dishonor and a cause of misfortune. Normally, the Aquilifa was the only one who had the honor of brandishing it. But if he was wounded, killed, and it was lost, retrieving it became every soldier's priority and pledge of glory and tangible retribution. It wasn't just an object, but an entity charged with symbolic and mystic force. Bizarre superstitions weighed upon it. Soldiers were convinced that the fortunes of an entire legion were bound to these coats of arms. It was said that the eagle of the Tatia Decima forged with the gold of the druids of Eastern Gallia, had the power to make the legion invincible, but also that it had a dark, vicious influence that was difficult to control. Devastating if it fell into the wrong hands.